Hi, I'm Tina. Welcome to Enhunt. How are you? <laughs> Tina is one of 500 women who volunteer as medical first responders with United Atsela. She is a doula, a naturopath. She volunteers as well in the ER in Rambam Medical Center and has saved many people's lives. Tina is a mother and a grandmother and has 15 cats. My name is uh, Tina Berkowitz. I live in Enhorn. Actually, what you can see right now, this is the outskirts of Enhorn. I'm an EMT in Ichud Atzala or United Atzala since uh, about four years. And I'm on call 24 7 or I'm, uh, when I'm not at work. And I'm working as a full time EMT on the coast of Hofakarmel. I'm usually around this area. I'm, I'm taking care really of the, the community here in Hot. And everybody already knows that they can call me anytime, day and night, wherever, whenever, to see if, I can, if I'm around and I come and uh, rush over and have the profession. I have actually, I started off as a naturopath. I have a PhD in naturopathy and I've been treating people actually since ever. So like medicine was always like a real, real hobby for Studied me. Studied with the Red Cross actually and made my first degree as a nurse assistant. And when I came here before the Yom Kippur War, I actually worked as a nurse for prisoner in a prisoners of war hospital on and off a little bit since 45 years almost. So this is my real home. You know, my kids grew up here. And, you know, it's like a little bit funky village, artists, and you know, free-minded mostly. Wonderful people here. Actually, great, great. So I came with action of reconciliation, and instead of working just like, like you know being in a home and giving out food, I said, I want to be a nurse and I can do proper work. And that's why I studied in Red Cross, came with a, a diploma of a nurse's assistant and started to work in uh, Israel as a nurse after I, I came from uh, Galed over here and learned the language. So in the war, the Yom Kippur War, 73, I was asked to work actually by some group, I don't even know who is this, like the nurse organization I was asked to come there and they needed people urgently, urgently, come, 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 come. So I went there and from there started my, the whole biography of being involved with medical, uh, in the medical field. So I'm from Germany and my parents' history actually is from Nazi Germany. And one of the, the things I remember my parents talking about, we never talked about the Jewish problem or Holocaust or anything. It was always like when we were kids, Dad, 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 tell me about the war. And he used to walk around the table with the Nazi steps, which is like really hilarious and we're laughing and, and you know, like it was like a fun thing. It was like a fun evening when my dad would uh, talk about the war, which is like really sad. And then before I decided to come to Israel, my, my mom also, she was in Hitler Jugend, my dad was in Hitler Jugend. I actually found pictures of them with the uniform and all that. I was like, oh my God. And they were not like, you know, they were like educated people. But still, when I came to Israel, it was like, oh my God, you're going to stay in Israel. They're going to like cut up children on Passover and drink their blood. I was like, okay, dad, that's not going to happen. They're going to hate you because you, I converted. They're going to hate you for that. And they're not going to like you. Come back to, to uh, Africa. They live in, they live, they're both dead now. It's going to happen. Anyway, so I came to Israel. And I, uh, actually, after a while, I decided to stay. And I wanted to learn about the religion as well, as well as the language. I talked about the language. So I went to the rabbinate, the uh, head rabbinate of Tel Aviv. That's where I'm going. So I went to Rav Frankl. He actually invited me uh, to come to his office. He was the head rabbi of Tel Aviv. And we talked a little bit. And then he said, okay, Tina, you want to convert? No problem. You, I'm going to help you study with someone that I recommend. 
And I actually did this with the help of Ralph Franklin. And the thing is, I never said, oh, I need to convert. I said, I want to convert. I, I think I want to convert because I come from a religious family. But if I don't like it, I'm not going to. And he said, yeah, no problem. Okay, no problem. And I converted because I really, really love the idea of uh, Judaism and the, the core of Judaism. So I did that. They offered to me that Ehud Atzala is going to come and teach us to be an EMT without money, but I didn't have to pay for it. And it just, you know, that's what I wanted to do all my life. And you just have to know that in this area, we, it takes 40 minutes for the ambulance to come sometimes because we are far. We are like, you know, far back. Involved together in this whole rescue team, and I think that's very important to know that I'm not here doing a movie about me, but it's not only me. It's a group of people who work together. Yeah, it's like the life purpose, I think, to save lives, no? Absolutely. Isn't it? Yeah, that's what I think. Do as much as you can. Tina, it's been amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs>